I know what you may be thinking. With the advancements in artificial intelligence, surely there was a way to automatically code all of this, all of these documents, so I don't have to do it myself. Well, there is, but it's not perfect. So if you do use this feature right here, the auto code feature, I would encourage you to double check their work because it's not going to be perfect. But let's demonstrate anyway. Let's do an auto code and we're trying to identify themes. So it's going to come up with these themes automatically. Interesting, right? Let's see if it actually finds it. So we have change, energy, and lifestyle. Maybe change in lifestyle, energy, clean energy, and energy like, like levels. I don't know if that's necessarily right. Change, I'm going to guess climate change. Yep, climate change and lifestyle change. You see, these don't really have anything to do with each other. So I don't know if I would group them together necessarily. Um, maybe like lifestyle changes makes more sense over here with sustainable lifestyle. So this one I got right. But yeah, code sentences, or you can code entire paragraphs together. So it gives you that option if you wanted to auto code. And then it creates a folder in your code book where these will be stored. And then here we go. If we click on this, we can see what, what like lines of text that they use to code it. So for change, they coded this one line. I became interested in sustainability a few years ago when I learned about climate change and its impact on the environment. So it coded that as probably climate change. And then they coded how his lifestyle affected your overall well-being. Well, that's an interview question. Didn't really need to code that. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it is a feature. So let's say you wanted to take out the research questions in your transcript. That could be a way to do it.